Try Jesus, not me. Cause I throw hands. <laughs> hey, my name is Jay Demi, and welcome to my channel. I make college and lifestyle related content. And since I haven't made a college video in a while, um, I thought I would just kind of update y'all um, on my application process and how many acceptances I've gotten uh, as far as merit scholarships and all of that. Because the last time we talked, I had just finished applying to my first couple of schools. And I was giving out advice on how to start that. And now that I'm actually hearing back from schools and all of that, I thought I would let you guys know. And so, yeah, this by um, all means it's not finished. I still have a few applications to send out. I still have... A ton of schools I need to hear back from but um I just thought I would just go ahead and give you guys a little update um on as to where I am right now okay so so far I've been accepted into every single school I've applied to which is um so 17 so far I've applied to more than that but I still haven't really heard back from schools like SMU and UT Austin University of Houston um, UCLA, USC, there's like some schools I've applied to but haven't heard back from yet, so I'm still waiting for those. But so far, I've been accepted into every single school, and that is 17. So I'm gonna go ahead and list that for y'all. Okay, so I have a paper because I'm not gonna be able to like list them all without forgetting a few. So, all right, so I've gotten into North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, um, Jackson State, Grambling State University, Benedict College, Arkansas Baptist University. Um, Mary Hardin Baylor, Langston University, Oral Roberts, Baylor University, Dallas Baptist University, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, University of Dallas, Philandra Smith College, Houston Baptist University, Bethune Cookman University, Alabama A&M, and Xavier University of Louisiana. So those are the colleges I've gotten into so far. Um, I have been offered merit scholarships from quite a few of them. So my merit scholarship total as of right now is $573,160. So let me tell you how. I did not apply for these scholarships. This is just money that they gave me. And this is how you get merit, okay? So basically you have to be like one of the top candidates because you don't apply for it necessarily. So everybody who's applying is considered for merit scholarships. As long as you apply by the early action deadline. Make sure you apply early. If you don't apply early, they just give you whatever's left from the money that they haven't already given to other people. And we don't do scraps around here, right? So I need you guys to get up and apply early. Most of people's um, early action deadline is around November, but you have to go and make sure you look up each specific university you want to go to and see exactly when their early action deadline is. Like um, NCATS was super early. It was October 15th um UC, usc's was december 1st it's really gonna vary from college to college so you have to make sure you know when that deadline is so you can get you some money okay so um that's there's nothing special you have to do for merit scholarships just uh make sure you um are really active and participating in your community in your school you have a um, high enough gpa test scores yada yada but since i'm class of 2021 um most if not all schools are test optional because of covid and all of that mess that's been going on. So um, if you're not class of 2021 and you're watching this, make sure the test scores is good. Take the test multiple times and apply early, apply early, apply early. Okay, so that's that's really, there's no real secret to Mary Scholarship. It's really like the college just decides if they're gonna give you money or not. It's, it's all of it's really all a big puzzle like you cannot you cannot have a full application without having every single piece you know what i'm saying so it's really important that you are really broad like you everything they want you to do everything so i'm not saying just get involved because you want scholarship money but i mean that's a pretty good reason to get involved if you ask me <laughs> But I say if you're going to get involved, do something you love. Do something that you're really passionate about, something that you would not mind doing all the time. Like I love, NHS is actually really fun to me. I love my NHS sponsor and I don't mind doing the 20 um, hours because it's stuff that I would probably do anyway. Like I tutor on the side. 
Um, there's a lot of things I do within my school, outside of my school. Student council is fun. Like, there's fun things that you can do within your school and to broaden your horizons. Like, so, um, I say all that to say, really have fun. Like, please don't stress yourself out about this. It is stressful. I'm gonna tell you it's stressful. That's why I really haven't made a college video in a while because I've been so already oriented on college stuff. And then to make a video about something that's already stressing me out was just not gonna be good for my mental health at all, you know? So um, I had to take a little step back from the whole college content, but I'm back now. I have a few more videos planned. Um, if you're interested in attending Baylor, I was gonna make a video about that and um, how I got in, my essays, my stats again, and um, how I got an $80,000 scholarship from them. And then I'm also going to do an NCAT video. I'm going to do a video for a lot of the um, of the bigger schools that I've gotten into that I know more people are interested in. So be on the lookout for those as well. But I say all that to say that I really do love you guys. And I want you guys to be like, your mental health is so important to me. My mental health is important to me too. So I want y'all to know, please don't stress yourself out about this. It's okay to be anxious. It is okay to have panic attacks and to cry sometimes. I do. So please don't think I'm sitting here having it all together because I do not have it all together. I'd be stressed, y'all. I'd be real life stressed. Don't stress yourself out. It's okay. At the end of the day, you're going to go to a college. You're going to have the time of your life and you're going to receive a bomb education. So why are we stressing out about it? Do your best that you can do. Your absolute best. Give it your all. And at the end of the day, just know you did what you can do. And when you're sitting on your college campus in your dorm, make the best of your time there you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day it's not really anything to stress over it actually is a lot to stress over because it's your future you know what i'm saying but think about all the positive things like yeah these applications are long and they suck i'm sick of writing essays i'm sick of like stressing about my grades so i can get my gpa up i'm sick of all of that because girl me too i am too <laughs> but think about like i can't wait next fall i'll be on campus i'm gonna be having the time of my life like you you your future like ah it's so exciting so it's happening and it's happening fast so make sure y'all stay on top of your grades stay on top of these applications and apply early apply early do not miss the early action deadline to any school you are genuinely interested in going in my juniors my sophomores if you're watching this you are ahead of the game okay start soon start it sophomores you got time don't even stress about it juniors you got time too you don't need to stress about it either but i suggest starting the summer before your senior year because doing this stuff is so much work and it is so stressful and to do that on top of a senior course load is just going to overwhelm you so the best thing you can do is start in the summer and kind of spread it out make a little okay so this this month i'm going to do this much work i'm gonna have my application ready for this many schools and, da, da, da. and I know people aren't applying to as many schools as I am. I know a lot of my friends are applying to four or five, six different schools. And I don't even, I can't even tell you how many schools I applied to. I just did. I just applied. And so I honestly don't even know how many schools have my application. I, I can't tell you. So you do not have to overload yourself like I did. But I suggest coming up with a little schedule, a little plan on where... Um, how much you want to get done in a certain period of time and that's how you're going to stay on target and not overwhelm yourself because doing all of that like me I'm overwhelmed and I started in the summer like I sectioned it out the way that I wanted to I have been on schedule on my target but to do all of this on top of my senior coursework which is six AP classes it's not fun including AP physics and AP chemistry I can't speak English as you can see, I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> but including AP Physics and AP Chemistry, and then AP English Literature, AP Stats, AP Gov, AP Macroeconomics, and like, I'm overwhelmed. And then now we're writing college essays, it's like, whew, you know? So stay on top of it. You do not want it to overwhelm you. You need to make sure that you come up with a plan of action and stick to it okay because it's really easy to fall behind and get overwhelmed and miss those deadlines it's really easy so just make sure you stay on top of that feel free to contact me if you have questions with anything if you want any like advice if you need motivation I'm here for y'all like I love y'all please contact me like I promise you I'm so nice like you can no judgment here I don't have it all together I swear I don't 
So if y'all have any questions or anything, feel free to contact me. I'm going to go ahead and like wrap it up because I think I said a lot. And if you're still here, <laughs> hey. So thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. Um, I hope that you really got something from this video. I hope that I kind of motivated you a little bit, gave you some advice and encouraged you and you get to get in. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you can comment down um, other content ideas below. If you have any more college related questions, I can do a video on that. So just let me know. Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow my socials. Uh, my Instagram and my Twitter are both at Jayla, J-A-Y-L-A, -A, and then H, Jayla H underscore J-D. I'm going to put it on the screen. It'll be on the screen. But feel free to contact me. I'm here for y'all. And I think that's it. Bye. Love y'all.